first hair tail I've ever caught. Now my wife used to catch these in Botany Bay. Uh, look how silver they are, what a beautiful looking fish. Not sure how I'm gonna cook it, but uh, I'm gonna get, take you back to my place and I'm sure we'll come up with some sort of a gourmet feast for it. I got this guy on, on this squidgy soft plastic there. Take him home and uh, let's see what we can do with him. See how we go? See you back at my place. Well guys, back from the water today and uh, really excited about this fish that we're gonna prepare today. I'm just gonna show it to you. It is absolutely a little river monster there. Look at that. Look at the teeth on that. It's almost prehistoric. Um, never actually prepared one before and this is the first time I've caught one. But I've heard they're really good on the chew, so we're gonna find out. That's the little hair tail. It's not really a, um, a really thick fish. It's quite thin. Um, so I'm gonna cut this into cutlets. I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna prepare it and I'm going to do a really nice little uh, pan seared crispy skin hair tail and I'm going to do a nice sweet uh, caramel sauce with that like a chilli caramel uh, a little bit Asian style so uh, here we go let's do it I'm going to take the head off pop him in there just open that up oh yeah there's the gut cavity and this should all come out nice and easily without too much drama that's beautiful. Look at that. Nice and fresh. So straight in now, just give this a bit of a clean under the tap, just clean this gut cavity out. It's pretty clean actually this guy. Beautiful clean, clean flesh. Get rid of that bloodline as well. Now just cut him down the middle I think, around about this. So sort of that sort of size, I reckon, will be good for pan frying. Now I'm just going to score it mainly for presentation. So it's here, and then we'll just spin it around and do it on the other side as well. Now there's no scales on this fish, so I reckon it'll be just perfect for pan searing. Okay, so I'll do the rest of that now in the middle section here. Might just trim these little flaps off here as well because there's no meat on that. I'll get rid of that just to tidy it up. We turn it over. Just that little belly flap there. And again, same deal. Straight down, probably about a finger's length. Just speed this up for you a little bit. I do know it in Asia, they love them, especially in Korea, Japan. They even use these for sashimi. Now the second piece that we've just got to trim up. Now I'm going to get rid of the tail here because there's absolutely hardly any meat on this tail. So we'll pop him away and then we'll trim the rest of this up. Helps if you've got a nice sharp knife. There we go. Beautiful. And we'll cut this guy down here. So guys, I did promise that we'd do a little bit of cooking on the channel. I haven't done some for a while. I've been getting right into my fishing. I've got to admit the fishing is a lot easier to film than it is um, when we're doing the um, when we're doing the cooking. It's a little bit difficult, especially when you're on your own. All right, we're going to pan sear that up and we'll see how we go. Okay, the fish is ready to rock and roll. Got it in the fridge, just chilling. And uh, what I'm going to do is use some ginger, garlic, and chili, and uh, some lime juice. We're going to make a nice lime and ginger caramel to go with this fish. So let's get cooking. So we just slice, slice it nice and fine, like so. Okay, so that's your ginger cut, nice and simple. And yeah, I want a really nice ginger flavor through this, this dish. And uh, we'll just slice this up. Get yourself one of these or a plastic scraper. Those are so good for wherever you're ever picking anything up off your chopping board. So just pop these straight in here. I just find it a lot easier to do it, especially if I'm doing a load of onions or something. Just use one of these and it's so easy. But we're just going to um, peel it, break it like so. So the skin comes off nice and easy as you can see. Okay, and then we're just going to slice this as thin as we, as thin as we can. Now I'm only making one portion today um, and then well, actually, no, I'll make two portions so I can cook my wife when she gets home from work. If you leave the seeds in. But this is a long chilli, so I want a little bit of heat in here. 
It's a quite a rustic dish. So about a half of red chilli. Now with the uh, coriander, what I do to clean it is I just scrape it down like so. And this is how I clean it. Now I give that a good wash under the tap. And we're giving it a wash. And this is where all the flavour is. Super. Now the quickest way to peel the onions, I find anyway, is just a little cut through here, just on the end, and then like so. So easy to peel the onion when it's like this. There we go. Now, take that top off. We keep this little husk on here, always. As soon as you cut that, it starts to bleed and that's what makes you cry. Okay, it's gonna follow those natural layers with the knife, with the tip of the knife, and then slice down the middle. This is the heel of the knife here. Here's, this is how we chop it, just like a little guillotine. Nice and easy. Okay, we'll put that to the side. I'm just gonna do some nice garnish um, shallots. Now, the longer they are, the better they are, so just really long strips. Pop them into ice water. Now, if you don't have any ice water, then just put your um, water in the fridge for, for garnish. What happens with this now is it'll all curl up. We'll pop that in the fridge and that'll be ready for a little garnish to go over the top of our fish today. Well guys, what we're gonna do now is make our sauce. Um, really important that we make the sauce first. Reason being is that the fish is so, so thin, it'll take two seconds to cook. So um, yeah, we wanna have absolutely everything ready so the fish doesn't overcook. All right, so let's get some oil in the pan. And what we wanna do is get these uh, beautiful ingredients in there so we can really get the flavors out of them. Now it's time to add some lime juice. Lime juice goes in. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water from the tap in there, around about equal amount of lime juice. Just to water that down a little bit so we can uh, get the flavors all happening. Now what I wanna do is dissolve my palm sugar. So I can always add more palm sugar. So I've put in there around about say, uh, 40 grams of palm sugar down a touch because now we want to gently simmer. We don't want it to caramelize it too quickly or it will burn. What we're going to use for salt today is our fish sauce. I'd say at least maybe three big uh, tablespoons. Now let's change the color of the dish completely as you can see. And it's sweet enough I think. I don't think I need too much more palm sugar. Wow, that's really good. Throw some green shallots in there as well for a little bit of color. I'm going to pop this in now. We'll get this skin nice and crispy. Now let's double check. Let's have a look. How the fish is coming along. Got a nice skin on there. Beautiful. Baste it over the top. Some nice hot oil. I think that'll do us. So we'll take this off. Okay, let's get this on there. Wow, that looks great. Some coriander. A few chives around the plate. Beautiful hair tail with a uh, chili ginger caramel. There you go, guys. There's our hair tail with our chili ginger lime caramel. Let's give it a taste. Delicate white flesh. And with those flavours, sensational. Well, guys, we'll look forward to seeing you soon on the Hook and the Cook. Hope you enjoyed that. Please comment and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Cheers, guys. Thank you.